In this video, we're going to talk about flattening either a selection or a function. Let's go down here and take a look in these cells. As we can see, there's a sum function here and an average function there. What flattening involves is essentially replacing these formulas with values. If we highlight them, we can flatten them super fast with Macabacus. As we can see, these are just values now and their color has been automatically changed to blue. Let's dive in and look at how this is done. First, let's back up a step. We're gonna tap undo. So these are now back to formulas. Let's quickly review how we would flatten something without Macabacus. To do this, we would select the cells and do a copy, control C, and then we need to do a paste special, which would be control alt V or alt E S. Let's bring up this dialog box. Now we go down to values and hit enter. Now if we start to look into these cells, hit F2, we can see they're all just values. Now to complete the job, we should probably change the font color of these cells. So we select them, tap the Alt key, and now H for home, and right up here we want FC for font color. Now we can select an appropriate blue from the palette and hit Enter. Now obviously this takes a bunch of keystrokes if we're not using Macabacus. So what we've done down here is we've gone ahead and undone all those steps. So we have back our original sum function and our average function here. Let's take a look at doing this with Macabacus. Now the great thing about this feature in Macabacus is it's gonna go in here and flatten this entire selection which is essentially replacing these formulas with values, but it's also going to go ahead and auto color the selection. So these will be instantly colored blue. Let's give it a shot. So this feature from Macabacus is called flatten selection. And all we're gonna do is select these cells and hit the keyboard shortcut, control shift three. And right away, these are replaced with values and you can see the font colors are blue. Perfect. Now, once again, we've gone back and undone that last command. So we can see we have our sum function here and our average function here. Now the flatten selection tool that we just used is great if we want to replace all formulas or every formula with values. But what if we want to have some control over which formulas get replaced with values? For that, we're going to look at a different tool. So let's go ahead and select these cells again up into the Macabacus section of the ribbon, in the model section here, under formulas, we want to go down to flatten. And now we've got the ability to flatten function. Let's click this. This dialog box comes up. We could flatten the entire selection, but what we have the ability to do in here is specify that we want to flatten the sum function only. Let's click OK to this dialog box. It says it's replaced four formulas with values. Let's OK this. Now let's investigate the selection. On the top row here, all the sum functions have been replaced with values. But if we hit F2 on the bottom, we can see the average functions have not been replaced with values. So we had some control over which functions get flattened. It's great to know that these tools are available with Macabacus. Again, up here in the model section under formulas, we can go in and flatten specific functions only. Or if we're working down here, one thing that we could do is we could select this entire area and quickly hit the shortcut, control shift three, and everything's been flattened and auto colored for us. If you're enjoying these tips and would like to see more of our content, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for your support and we'll see you soon in the next video.